Thanks for joining to hear how workload automation and robotic process automation can work together to deliver better business services. Hello, my name is Robbie Dick, and I'm on the Control M Solutions Marketing Team at BMC Software, and have been for over 20 years. I've spoken to thousands of customers over those many years, and in the course of those conversations, I've been involved in many different types of automation discussions. Just some of the automation-related discussions that come to mind are IT process automation, also known as ITPA, business process automation, known as BPA, runbook automation, known as, you guessed it, RBA, robotic process automation, RPA, and of course, workload automation, WLA. Why do I say of course? I work with Control-M from BMC Software, which is a product associated with workload automation. Actually, modern WLA solutions like Control-M belong to a newer category known as Application Workflow Orchestration. But the acronym AWO doesn't fit as nicely with the automation theme here, so I'll just keep referring to it as WLA for the time being. In just a couple of minutes, I will describe how workload automation and robotic process automation can work together to deliver better business services. But before I do that, let me briefly define those two categories of automation. Robotic process automation is software that automates actions that a human would otherwise perform, like mouse clicks, keyboard entries, or selecting information from specific fields or screen locations. RPA is ideally suited for automating human-machine interactions, actions involving a person manually interacting with the user interface. Actions that are considered high-touch but are static are the sweet spot for RPA. The bot, as in robot, can be programmed to mimic the efforts of what the human is doing manually. And when the environment is static, the bot can run unattended and perform the intended action. But changes to the environment the interface or the flow require bot reprogramming. Workload automation, the discipline I have been involved with for many years, is software that manages and monitors jobs or tasks or workloads that comprise a business process that help deliver a business service. These tasks usually run in complex environments on almost any number of operating systems and involve lots of different commercial and homegrown applications and data sources. The tasks usually require little to no human involvement and operate at very high scale. Historically, these tasks were date and time triggered, but in modern environments, the workloads are triggered by events. Of course, modern environments also utilize APIs and as code methodologies for triggering and creating and managing and monitoring workflows. And these methods are certainly supported by modern solutions, which again are now being referred to as application workflow orchestration tools. As with most every form of computer automation, there are some similarities between these two disciplines. But the target audience and environment where these two forms of automation excel are quite different. RPA exists primarily to automate human to machine interaction whereas workload automation exists to orchestrate machine-to-machine -machine interactions in delivery of a business service. Which leads to the primary point of the talk. They complement each other more than they compete with each other. Let's take a high-level look at a business service a retailer might provide in today's environment. Every time a customer opens a new account in a retailer's mobile app, at the end of that process, the consumer is supplied with a few immediate use coupons. One coupon is for 50% off any single item in the retailer's store that day. Another coupon would be for a discount on a food item at the partner-run restaurant inside the retailer's physical store. A more detailed look at what happens behind the scenes in that business service looks like this. Every time a new customer creates an account in a retailer's mobile app, at the end of the account creation, a database extract occurs, running somewhere inside the retailer's data center, creating a file that contains data associated with the new user account. 
Every time the prior step occurs, the file is transferred to another machine where a business intelligence tool collects and processes and integrates this new data with some existing system of record and its data. The data from the prior step is merged with data from a screen scrape task running in an RPA tool, which involves a legacy application running inside the organization, resulting in a newly enriched version of the file. This resulting file gets transferred to another machine where a data lake resides and a series of Hadoop jobs run, ending with the creation of report files. The reports get sent to multiple internal business units inside the retailer, maybe the customer retention department and the marketing department, as well as to the external business partner, the restaurant operator. Finally, within two minutes of the customer opening the account, they need to have received those immediate use discount coupons in order to take advantage of some fantastic deal right that minute. This example is a mildly complex flow of events that need to occur, and a summary of those steps at that. And think about how often this needs to happen. Imagine this is the opening weekend of that retailer's store, the first in this geographic location, and you have a feel for how many times this business service needs to be delivered in a short amount of time, and how tight the time tolerances are on the entire flow of work that needs to be accomplished again and again and again. The third step is the sweet spot for RPA. That was the step where data from the prior step was merged with data from a legacy app the retailer was running, an app that has no API and maybe a decades-old Windows GUI as its only means of interaction. But that step in and of itself does not deliver the business service. The business service are the reports that get distributed to various LOBs and sent to the partner company as well as the immediate use coupons delivered through the app to the end consumer. That's the service right there. That's what counts. The service needs all those steps to happen at the right time, in the right order, and at a high frequency, without exception. Workload automation can orchestrate every task in this scenario, not only the database extract, the file transfers, the BI jobs, and the Hadoop jobs, it can also manage the RPA task for what it is, part of a larger, more complex workflow that in its entirety delivers a business service. And that is workload automation sweet spot, orchestrating a complex set of events on time, every time. In most cases, the tasks best handled by RPA are just a part of a business service that contain additional jobs running across disparate applications many data repositories, and multiple platforms, which means there is a need for and value provided by combining the RPA tool with a WLA tool. The workload automation tool can integrate, automate, and orchestrate complex application workflows across all applications, data sources, and infrastructures. Just as RPA can help improve accuracy and scale when it comes to human and machine GUI interactions, WLA can help improve accuracy and scale when it comes to delivering the entire workflow of a business service. There are lots of forms of computer automation, and while they certainly have some similarities, they all have their specific strengths. By combining the strengths of WLA and RPA, you can make your business services perform better than ever before. Thanks for attending this 10-minute talk. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at Robbie underscore Dick at bmc.com. That's R-O-B-B-Y underscore D-I-C-K at BMC dot com. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.